<coughs> Proverbs chapter 29. <coughs> he that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without, re without remedy. <clears throat> when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked braireth rule, the people mourn. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. The king by judgment established the land, but he that receiveth gifts overthrow it. <clears throat> On land that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regard regardeth not to know it. <clears throat> Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterwards. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. <clears throat> <clears throat> the poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord lighteneth both their eyes. The king that faithfully, faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest, yea, he will give delight unto your soul. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. A servant will not be corrected by words, for though he understand, he will not answer. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than him. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a trial shall have him become his son at the length. An angry man striveth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. <clears throat> Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul. He heareth cursing, and bewarieth it not. The fear of man bringeth snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, but he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. <coughs> Proverbs chapter 30. <coughs> The words of Agar, Agar, the son of Jakeh, even the prophecy, the man spake unto Ithel, even unto Ithel and Ukal. <coughs> Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not understanding of a man. I have neither learned wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy. Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the winds in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? <clears throat> Every word of God is pure. <clears throat> he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. <clears throat> Two things have I required of thee. De deny me them not before I die. Remove, me, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Least I be full and deny thee and say, <coughs> Who is the Lord? Or least I be poor and steal, and take the name of my, Lord, my God in vain. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse thee and thou be found guilty. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. <clears throat> there is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaws, jaw teeth as knives, to devour the poor off the earth, and the needy from among men. <clears throat> The horse leech hath two daughters, crying, Give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not, it is enough. The grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The eye that mocketh at his father, and despiseth to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pluck it out, and the young eagle shall eat it. There are three things which are too, wonder which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. 
the way of the eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth, and saith, I have done no wickedness. For three, for three things the earth is disquieted, and for four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman when she is married, and a handmaid that is hair to her mistress. There are four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are strong, <clears throat> the ants are a people, not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, but yet they may, but make they their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet go they forth all of them by bands. The spider taketh hold with her hands, and is in the king's palaces. There are three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going. A lion which is strongest among beats, beasts, and turneth not away from, for any. A greyhound, a he-goat also, and a king, against whom there is no rising up. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay thine hand upon thy mouth. Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, and the wringing of the nose bringing forth blood, so the forcing of wrath bringing forth strife. <coughs> Proverbs chapter 31. <coughs> The words of King Lemil, the prophecy that his mother taught him. <coughs> what, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. <coughs> it is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and prefer the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember not his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are adopted, appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh diligently with her hands. She is like the merchant's ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. With the fruits of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. <clears throat> Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she stretched forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all <coughs> her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates, and he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen, and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. <coughs> <clears throat> Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time, to, in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up, and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, and thou, and, but thou excellent excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Till next time. <clears throat>